Good morning, everybody. It's Kendra, Denise. How is everybody doing? So today I wanted to go over multiple ways to make money from home and online. Because y'all, there's several ways to make money online, okay? So I got my little um, lemonade because I'm gonna be out here talking for a while, y'all. This is gonna be a longer video my teaching videos. I got my HEB lemonade. I got my summer y'all cup. Isn't that a cute cup y'all? So yeah, y'all, let's go over these things. <laughs> okay. Number one, I would say is selling clothes online. Now, there's so many ways to sell your clothes online, y'all. If you already didn't know, eBay, Poshmark, Macari, Offer Up, Let Go, Facebook, Marketplace, okay? And selling clothes to me is my biggest income because I can sell on multiple different platforms. I'm on seven platforms, like I've said before. Um, to me, it's easy. Clothes are lightweight to me. I sell mainly plus size clothes. There's a lot of different apps, y'all. I looked it up and there's like 20 selling platforms that you can sell your clothes on that's a lot so if you have like 1,000 items you can put those 1,000 items on each platform and you're going to get a decent amount of sales okay and I could vouch for that Poshmark eBay Macari Facebook Marketplace Offer up, let go. Sell jewelry. Number two, selling jewelry online. Now, I sell all of my jewelry on all of the platforms that I am on, but some people only sell jewelry. I know people who do paparazzi. I know people who just sell their own jewelry. They order from like wholesalers. And y'all, you could literally get jewelry for a dollar a piece. And if you're selling that jewelry for $10, $15, $18, that's a good little income. And you're only investing, you know, $1 into the jewelry. I paid as low as $0.40 cent for jewelry, you guys, on eBay. Okay? And so then you go sell those items for $10 a piece. And you sell, say if you sell 100 100 times 10, how much is that, y'all? That's money that can go into your household. You know, there's so many ways out here to make money, and that's why I try to teach people that there's so many ways. Live sales. Okay, so you can also make money selling things live, like on WhatNot. Now, I had applied for WhatNot, but I got declined which that's fine because I'm already on seven different platforms and I'm already busy enough selling on those seven platforms, doing my content. And pretty soon I'm going to find me a part-time job. That's just to get out the house, to be able to be around other people. Cause sometimes I get tired of being at home, but you can do live sales. You can also do live sales on Poshmark, but I'm just not a camera person. I, I like to record videos, but I don't like to be in the video. <laughs> and so, um, you know, and I've heard people making a lot of money in like one day. There's one YouTuber, I'm not going to say her name, but she had said that she had made like $1,200, y'all, in one day. Some people are working two whole weeks to make $1,200. Make this make sense. And that's why I'm so adamant and determined to make videos about selling online. There's so many ways to make money online. So many ways. I'm going to just go over some of the ones that I like the best, Okay. buy sell trade now i've been going to the buy sell trade for almost like a year and a half because what i did was i sold all of my men's clothes all of my small medium large clothes and each time i would go in there you know they would give me like 200 dollars, you know 87 dollars 150 dollars um one time i wanted this tory birch purse in there and it was 140 so what i did is i took a lot of the things that weren't selling in my boutique to them and then they gave me credit 
and it was like a pretty nice credit it was almost i think the most i made was almost 300 dollars. so what i did is i got the tory birch purse and then i grabbed a couple other clothing items that i wanted to sell in my boutique um i had a lot of expensive purses that weren't selling so i just you know brought those clothes over i mean uh well, the clothes and the purses over to the buy, sell, trade. And they would just either give me credit. You get more if you take the credit, but then you would have to spend that credit in the buy, sell, trade store. Um, sometimes I just get cash because I want to go over to DD's and grab like, you know, blouses. I sell a lot of blouses and carnigans and uh, two-piece outfits and dresses and jumpsuits with pockets. Like I know what thicker women like, mainly because I used to be a really thick chick. And, you know, I come from like, you know, a thick family, which ain't no shade. My family is beautiful. Um, and, you know, I just kind of know what they like because you like the long flowy dresses. Like when you go out, people are, you know, sometimes people are self-conscious, you know, that's not a bad thing, but some people just are, they want their knees covered. They want, you know, so I try to go out here and I want to find, you know, items that they really love. Um, but yeah, y'all, you could take your items to the buy, sell, trade. And like women, if you have children, and they grow up growing out of their clothes, you can also take their clothes over to the buy, sell, trade and then use that money to buy more items. And I've said this multiple times, you know, time and time again. Why invest a whole nother couple hundred dollars into clothes and you could sell their old clothes and then go get them more clothes? And y'all, I know I raised three children. My children are 30, 28, and 25. So I know how expensive clothes can get when it's time to go back to school, when they need in socks and sh the shoes are too little and you don't really have money because you got your mortgage and you got your light bill and you got your car payment and you got your car insurance. And you're like, oh my God, you know, he needs a new pair of shoes. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> Somebody was too close to my garage. So I had to get up and grab my other phone. <laughs> I had my, I was working at that table over there for a minute, but I had to I'm making sure my phone is protected. But anyway, so yeah, y'all. Okay, y'all, here's another way to make money from home, online, travel agent. Now, I did used to be a travel agent. I was a travel agent in 2020, all the way up until the end of, I think, last year. Um, now, I paid around $200 to get started, and then the website was like $38 per month. So, I did it for about two years. And I was doing a lot of traveling in, in uh, 2020 and 2021 and towards like the middle of 2022. But now that I'm, you know, shipping on so many items, I just didn't have the time to be able to travel so much and, you know, try to get those some of those vacations paid for, you know, because you can get paid for travel. And I have a friend, her name is Cameron Dawson, and I will uh, put her description in here because she just started her YouTube channel. I'm actually trying to teach her, you know, how to get started and, you know. So she is a travel agent and she's really good at it. And she makes a living make, being a travel agent. Um, you know, but like I said, you have to spend money to make money. So like I was paying $38 for that website. I was also paying $30 for my personal website, which was Wix. Um, you know, it, it costs money to make money. You know what I'm saying? You just can't be like, oh, I could put in $100 and you think you're going to make three to $4,000 per month. You know what I'm saying? You have to invest. You know, it's taken me... Um, three years to have 1500 items now but i have 1500 items but i've sold over 3000 items and 1500 was on facebook marketplace alone but anyway yes you can make money being a travel agent but you have to spend money you have to have a website you know sometimes you have to pay for you know certain expenses um uh but yeah, I had fun doing it. It was just now I need to be home, you know, pushing out these orders because I really like doing the clothes because it's easy to me. Um, I can find clothes at the bins for a dollar. I can find clothes at Didi's Dee discounts for like three, three or four dollars, which y'all seen me do that. Y'all seen me um, find things at the bins. Matter of fact, a dress just sold that I got at the bins for one dollar. I have sold it already on Facebook Marketplace. It's a size one X. I sold it to this one lady and then um, she had did multiple items and i could not find it y'all so i had to cancel that order i felt bad i told her she could choose something else but i couldn't find the item so anyway the item just sold and i'll put this right after this video now i pay one dollar at the bins for that dress and that dress sold for twenty dollars so anyway so yeah being a travel agent you can make you know fairly decent money being a travel agent y'all okay this sold y'all this is a super cute dress this is a size 1x look at the fabric 
Now this had already sold on Facebook Marketplace, but I could not find it in any of my totes. <laughs> so what I did is I hung it up out here. So then if it sold, I could find it. So I'm gonna put it, so the back is solid black. It's a cute little summer dress. People are starting to order these summer items. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put it in plastic though, okay? Okay, y'all. Sometimes I have to take a break and come out here and kind of chill and relax and feel the breeze, you know? Okay, let's continue, okay? Okay, so next is creating your own website. Now, I have my own website, y'all, for about two years, maybe two and a half years. Now, I have Wix. I had them for two and a half years. Um, I was paying $30 per month. Now, I had all of my inventory on Wix, but I got more orders off of Facebook Marketplace and Offer of Let Go than I did my own website. So I'm paying them 30 bucks per month. Now, the good thing about having your own website is you don't have to pay a fee once the item sells. So the only thing I was paying is 30 bucks per month. And then say if I sold like, um, $200 worth of items, I get my whole $200 minus the um, PayPal fee because, you know, most of the money goes into the PayPal. Um, I really want to get a Shopify. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you have your own personal website like Wix or Shopify? There's some other ones out there. Um, I don't really think $30 was that bad, 30 bucks per month, to, you know, to get your items out there. But like I said, I feel like Facebook Marketplace only takes a 5% selling fee and I sold 1,500 items on there and then I sold 800 items on Offer of Let Go and then I also sold items on um, Poshmark and Macari and Depop. Um, so yeah, you can get your own website. But the only negative about getting your own website is, you know, when you first open up a website, nobody knows who you are unless you already have a following or you have, you know, a lot of people on your YouTube channel um you open up a website nobody knows who you are and you're trying to promote it on facebook you know and other sites that's good you can do that but people still don't know who you are like i had to work up almost 500 subscribers on facebook marketplace and those customers come back over and over again because they know that i have good quality plus size items size 2x size 3x size 5x there's one lady she bought a pretty um 5x pink top uh one day then she came back and she bought a dress, 5X dress, you know. They'll come back. If you send them out some really good quality items, they will come back. So does anybody out there have their own website and how is that going for you? Is it worth having your own website? Because like I said, I spent around $30 per month for two whole years on my website. And then I just went ahead and took it down the end of last year. And I wanted to start fresh with doing a Shopify and then doing uh, learning how to do eBay better. So, I mean, you can, you know, pay for a website and sell merchandise on that website as well that's another way to make money okay okay y'all let's keep going i need to change my trash y'all <laughs> i'm gonna have my husband do it okay let's grab my juice i've been sipping i've been sipping anyway here we go y'all okay here's another way to make money okay doing surveys online now Businesses will pay you for answering questions. Like say if they're like promoting um, a new chocolate chip cookie and they want you to try it, you know, and then you taste it and then they um, ask, you know, your opinion about the cookie, you know, what your thoughts about it. Now, I did used to do surveys back in the day when I was in my 20s and 30s. I would just, you know, sign up for them and go and just give my opinion or do your opinion online. Now, I know that they... um my husband used to do the cigarette ones. He would, you know, try the cigarettes. Uh, him and my mom, they would do those. And I know they was paying like $50 per survey, y'all. Now, they actually do. I made a lot of money doing surveys, believe it or not. I don't know. You would just have to, you know, search in your local area who does them. But people do pay customers to do surveys, believe it or not. Because <laughs> I used to do them myself. Now, I'm trying to find ways. 
um, you know, to make money and to teach y'all how to make money. But these are some of the things that I've actually done, but then some I have not. Like I'm going to talk about some of the other ones that I have not later, but some of the ones that I just mentioned, I have done a lot of those, like the surveys, selling online, selling my jewelry online, being a travel agent. And I'm also going to talk about staging homes. I've done that too. That's next. Okay. Okay, so if you're good at design, people down here, they will pay a nice amount of money for you to stage their homes. Now, I've been designing for a long time. I've actually been designing since I was a little girl. I used to stand, I had three brothers, right? And I would stay in the house and I would design my bedroom instead of going outside. And my brother was like, come on outside, why are you doing all this? And I still do design to this day. So I'm really good at it. And y'all can see how I you know, got my office designed. This is my little office space. I just hung those dresses up, those uh, old navy dresses, because they're kind of heavy. But um, see how I got everything designed, you know, really cute and neat. Um, and I was doing that down here. I was doing that before COVID hit, y'all. It was one of my dreams to do it. I staged my daughter's house. I staged a friend of mine's house. I staged the office I was working at. Y'all had so much fun doing that, going out here, just looking at these mansions and it was so much fun but yeah if you're if, you're, if you have a, a good eye for design you can get paid stage at homes and the good thing about it is it's the way you word things you're not a designer you're a stager because you have to be certified to be a designer which i'm not but i just love design and i love to do it and um i was staging homes y'all and you don't have to be certified to stage homes as long as you have an eye for it and you love it then you could do it and i was charging 600 at first but then i started charging 1000 I really should have been charging more because all those people out here charging people two or three, four thousand dollars to stage homes. Some of these mansions are six, seven, eight bedroom uh, houses with three or four bathrooms. You get the point. <laughs> so yes, you can make money staging homes. Now that's this is how it is in Texas. You have to follow the laws of where you're at. Okay. So I live in Austin, Texas. So this is the law in Austin, Texas. You would have to make sure, like, say if you lived in. Um, Michigan or somewhere, um, you would have to Google, you know, your city state and see if it's legal and what you have to have to do it. Cause I don't want to tell, you know, tell anybody any false information. This is just how it is for in Austin, Texas. I could stage homes without being certified. As long as I have the passion to do it, I'm a business owner. I know how to, you know, hook up my little paypal where you know they can pay me or whatever i have an eye for it i love to do it you can see i love to do it inside of my apartment i love to do it and i can't wait to get a house because i'm gonna hook that baby up but yes you can do that though staging homes y'all okay y'all let's continue you can also be a content creator which Probably a lot of y'all watching are content creators. Now, I started my YouTube journey about seven months ago. I started watching YouTube hardcore about three years ago. And I was just, you know, I learned so much from all the YouTubers. And I was like, you know what? Maybe I should start a YouTube channel. I had a YouTube, but I never put anything on it. I think there was like maybe two videos of my granddaughter and then my daughter. But they were like short videos, y'all. wasn't nothing big. So I deleted those and then I start adding my shorts at first. And then I start adding my long form video, but they were like pretty short videos. If you go back and look, some of my videos was only like one minute, three minutes, you know, six minutes. But I was like, you know what, Kendra, you need to make some more long form video to teach your subscribers what you know. You know what I'm saying? YouTube is awesome because you can promote your business. You can get your name out there. I sell plus size women's clothes. And, um, for what I know, you need 1,000 subscribers, which right now I have 838 subscribers. It's taken me seven months to get that. And I have 2,900 watch hours. So I need about 1,100 more, and I need about 160-ish more subscribers. And then you have to um, apply, and then you become a YouTube partner. That's what I know from that. And so that's what I'm working on. And I love to make content. I have fun making content. I've actually been out here since about 1030, y'all. And it is like, what time is it? Like 130, 130-ish. Um, 
So that's another way to make money from home. And all you're doing is just basically teaching what you know. You know what I'm saying? Day in the life videos. I do what what so I go to Dee Dee's. Go Dee Dee's. Uh, Dee Dee's is a discount store, y'all. Y'all didn't already know. Now they have items for up to 90% off. Y'all, I be going over to Dee Dee's, y'all getting three dollar items all the time. And the MSRP be like $59, $69, $74 on these items. So they're up to 90% off. So that's another thing that I've been teaching people now. There's only um, 304 DDs in the U.S. Um, majority of the DDs are in um, California, Texas, and Arizona. Now, there are some, you know, in, in some other, you know, states, but not that many. We have 74, I think, in Texas. And there's three in Austin. So I go to one that's like mm, eight minutes away from here. Matter of fact, I haven't been to DD's in like two weeks because I've been listing all of my items that need to be listed. Like matter of fact, I just found a whole bunch of Tybo cassette, uh, well VHS tapes that I need to sell because I don't have a VHS recorder no more. We don't really even use all those. I pretty much just watch YouTube for pretty much everything. Um, so yes, y'all. I mean, shoot, even if you don't even want to become a YouTube partner. Make content if you have a business and then you can get, you know, eyes on your product, whatever you got going on. Okay. There's another way to make money. And I forgot to even add this to the list, but I'm going to show y'all in a minute. Okay. Now these are handmade products. I used to make handmade soaps, handmade lotion, handmade beard oil. I made um, body oil. And it was like pretty much all natural made out of 100% olive oil. Now, I can still do this when I want. Some people do put in a soap order. And now I had to like buy the little pretty bottles. You know, I'm so extra. You see how it says handmade beard oil by Kendra. And then my soaps were called handmade soaps by Kendra. There's the beard oil. And, you know, I was, you know, would go overboard and buy all the um, pretty bottles, all the soap supplies, the beautiful wrapping paper and just I will go overboard so you can make money by selling handmade items okay and I've done it I've done it for like two years okay so that's another way to make money sell your products online just make sure that you're sending out good quality items like I always say okay y'all ride share now y'all know y'all could drive for Lyft Uber they have a few other ones down here. There's one called uh, Rides with a Z. Now, I take lifts everywhere, so it is, like, oversaturated. As soon as I call my lift, y'all, I barely got my shoes on my feet, and the car is out there in, like, one minute. So, you can make some pretty decent money doing ride share. And then also, too, I used to do um, Uber Eats and Grubhub, and that's just basically taking the customer their food, which I really don't like driving, if y'all can already tell, because I get uh, rides everywhere. I call a car. <laughs> I'd rather pay for that and go where I need to go versus paying. I was paying over $1,000 just to have a vehicle. My car payment was almost $400. My car insurance, the gas. I'm probably only paying a fifth of that taking my lifts everywhere. I can get work done while I'm in the back seat. So there's a lot of ways to make money as far as a ride share, doing Grubhub, doing Uber, doing DoorDash. There's money to be made, y'all. There's so many ways to be, you know, make money. And I, I actually would do DoorDash and Grubhub. And I would make like a little part-time income from that. And what I liked about um, the both of them was, I think it was, was it Uber Eats or DoorDash? They would pay you at the end of the night if you wanted your money. So say if you needed some gas money or you was hungry, you needed some food for, you know, later on, you can uh, take your money out. Now, I think the other one was every Thursday you would get paid. I'm, I'm really not sure, but I was doing the both of them. Plus on top of that, working two or three jobs at that. But ride share is a good way to make money. You just have to, you know, get certified, certify your car, make sure you have car insurance, make sure you have a good run of car and you could do that. There's so many ways y'all. This list can go on and on and on. This video could be like two hours long. There's so many ways to make money, you know? Okay, y'all, Toro. Now I was gonna do Toro maybe three or four years ago y'all even before COVID even hit and I was telling my son-in-law about it <laughs> I was gonna rent me a brand new car and then I was gonna rent the car out and I was looking in the videos I was looking on YouTube about how you know to get started on Turo um you would just buy you know a brand new car make sure the car is you know 
in very good condition. Now the car that I had, the last car that I had, I bought that car brand new from Kia. It only had 19 miles on it when I had got it. So I really could have just rented the car that I had, the good car. Um, so you rent your car out and then you rent the car. Like, okay, my son-in-law and my daughter, they have a Tesla. And so they rent the Tesla out two weeks out of the month. And then they take that money and they pay for their car payment. And so I was going to do this some two or three, four years ago. And I was telling him about it. And now he's actually doing it. But then I got so into my plus size clothes. I just was like, you know what? This is how I'm making, you know, a lot of money really quick. So I stopped and was like, mm, maybe I won't do it. But then now I'm starting to think about it. There's people that's got like two or three, four cars and they're renting them out. And they're basically paying their car payment with the money that they're making. So that's another way to make money. You have to have good credit, of course. You know, you go buy a brand new car. You have to make sure the car is really good quality. It's a good run car. Um, and then what they do is Toro will make sure that they put insurance on the car. And then you have to make sure that there's insurance on the car too. Because like I said, I was going to do this. This is something that I was going to do because I was like, say if I get a $400 car payment, right? And I rent the car out and make just say a thousand a month. You could take that $400, pay for the car payment, then pay for the car insurance. And then you could take that $500 for yourself. If that makes sense. I mean, you could look more into it, but I have, you know, studied a whole bunch of YouTube videos about it. And my son-in-law is actually doing it, but I was the one that suggested it some years ago because I was, you know, trying to find other ways to make money without going to a physical job. And that's what I'm trying to teach because you can do it. Like right now, I got orders coming in. So I'll just pull my order, put their name on it. I'm working on this YouTube video. I've been out here since 1030 y'all. <laughs> So that's another way to make money and you can you can google it and youtube it and just see you know what you, what your thoughts are about it because i'm just going over just ways to you know make money online from home okay amazon fda now i heard that selling on amazon was hard and i'm not sure so i'm not gonna voice my opinion about it because i've never done it before but i thought about it though um I kind of heard that they're kind of strict as far as the products. Now, I know that you send all of the items to the warehouse or to Amazon, and then they ship the items out for you when the orders come in, which I like my hands on items. Um, I like my packages to be packed a certain way. So I probably would never do Amazon, but I'm just, this is just another, you know, add on to the list of things that you can do. Um, if anyone sells on Amazon, let us know. Um, is it hard? Um, is it hard like sending the items over there? Do you promote the item or do they? I mean, I really don't know, but that's just another way to make money. Um, like I said, I like to have my hands on my items for my business. Like I package up my items a certain way and I like them to look a certain way. I go overboard when it comes to my packaging and all that. Um, so I probably would never do it, but you know, for the people who do, let us know if you enjoy it. Okay. Now another drop shipping you can also do drop shipping y'all my best friend she had a uh, drop shipping business and like i said i wouldn't prefer to do it because i want my hands on my item i want to make sure that the item is good quality because y'all i when i first got started with my business i probably lost about over two to three thousand dollars ordering so much stuff online not really knowing not having a good vendor um i got scammed through dh gates i ordered a thousand dollars worth of you know items through there um, so now I'm just to the point, I go to DDs, I go to the bins, I go to Burlington. Um, I wouldn't drop shit because I want to make sure that my customers, I want to see to make sure that the item is good quality. I'm not bashing it. That's not what I'm doing, but I want to see my item because there's been so many items that I got from China or wherever and the quality was not good. And I would not want to send my customers personally and have my name wrapped around that like this purse for instance this is a um lauren ralph lauren purse you see the quality of that purse now i would feel good sending one of my customers this purse it's my purse it was my birthday purse but you see the quality of it it's a vacation purse now i can show y'all some purses that i got from certain countries that i would not that actually went in the trash and so that's why i say i would not recommend drop shipping but it is a way to make money i'm not going to bash it because that's not what i do on my videos but this is just another way to make money is drop shipping now if you don't have a lot of space in your home like you know i have this big garage right 
So I have ways to store my items and I have items in the house too. If you don't have a lot of space, I think drop shipping would be a good choice because then you basically, when your customers order something, the, the drop shipper, they fulfill the order and then you get paid a certain amount. Now, I'm not sure about how they pay, but I know when my best friend was doing it, she was saying that she was only getting like a $5 profit, which for me, I could do better than that. I can go to the bins and get something for a dollar and sell it for $20, $22 and get a $20 profit. So I feel like if you spend $5 on five items at the bins and sell them for 20, you could guarantee make $100. Now drop shipping is a little bit different, but if that's your choice, that's another suggestion as far as making money online. Have a garage sale. Now I know y'all have had to have a garage sale at least one time in your life. Now I know where I'm from. I'm from originally from Des Moines, Iowa. We could. I used to be a homeowner. Me and my husband, we had a home down there in Des Moines, Iowa. Um, I know down in Des Moines, the law used to be you could only do three garage sales per year. So what we would do is we would wait to like, you know, June, July, August, and we would have one big, big garage sale, y'all. Everything that we just didn't want no more or things that, you know, like I would change my dining room table and be like, I'm going to sell that. The kids is closed sometime, old rugs, and we would, you know, do a really big garage sale and do it June, July, and then August. And then you could do it the whole weekend, like Saturday and then Sunday. Have a big garage sale. Sometimes we would make like seven, $800 in one garage sale. That's a really easy way, especially if you have a home, a front yard, or a backyard. Have a garage sale. That's an easy way to make seven, eight hundred. Say if you want to go on vacation and your job is not paying you enough to save eight or nine hundred dollars per month, you can do a garage sale in June, save that money, do another garage sale in July, save that money. You know, you have to have tables and the way to, you know, display things. And I've done garage sales multiple times and then do another garage sale around August, but make sure that you check your guidelines in your city and state. I always say this because I don't want to give out any false information. That's just how it was in Des Moines, Iowa. We could do three garage sales three times per year. And that doesn't seem like a lot, but I think the reason why they do that, you guys, is say if you have a garage sale every single weekend and you make seven, eight hundred dollars every single weekend, they want their taxes. They, they're not about to play with you about that. They want their taxes, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I think they limit you of only having three. Now in Texas, I'm really not sure because I don't have an actual, I have a garage, but I don't have a house. So I don't really know. So I won't speak for the garage sales down here, but that's how it used to be in Des Moines, Iowa. And so that's an easy way. If, say if you make $700 on one garage sale, you know, for the whole weekend, then you turn around and make another $700 the next month. That's $1,400 you could put towards your travel. $1,400 you could put towards your kids' clothes. That's an easy way to make money. You know what I'm saying? Create a online course. Now I've heard of people doing this. They just are basically teaching what they know, which that's pretty much what I do on YouTube, you know, making my content. So you can create an online course, y'all, and charge. Okay. Selling books online. Now I just started doing this. I was selling books, uh, maybe like a year ago and I took them down. So what I did is I put them back on Macari, majority of them. And I put a few on Facebook marketplace. So you can sell books online. I mean, cause I could get books at the binge y'all for a quarter. And if I sell them for 10 or $15, that's a nice profit. Okay. Being a tutor. Now I used to be a teacher. So I did get several positions being a tutor and all you're pretty much doing is like, say if a student is having problems uh, learning his algebra or uh, science or something, you just basically do a one-on-one -on -one teaching and you can get paid to be a tutor, y'all. And I've done this before when I was a uh, teacher. Being a virtual assistant. Now, I've heard of some YouTubers, they end up getting a virtual assistant. They help them with, like, you know, listing items and shipping the items. And, you know, you can look into it. You can Google it. But that's another way to make money. Um, 
I don't have any assistance. I just do pretty much all of my work myself. I send out about 120, 140 items when it's really busy per month. I do it all myself. I promote myself. I uh, do all of my content. I ship all my items out, which is easy for me. I'm not working a full-time job. I'm just doing this instead. So look into that. You can get paid being a virtual assistant, y'all. Earn cash back rewards. Now, I used to do this a lot, y'all. Like, when I used to go into Target, I would scan um, uh, what I was doing up in there. You can get points from that, and you can pretty much earn money. I used to do it a lot because I used to be a couponer. Google it and see if you would be interested in doing that. Like, sometimes even if you walk into CVS, they give you points for that. I just don't have time no more. I used to do it all the time, and I would get, like, uh, go to Walgreens and earn rewards, and I would get, like, $50 worth of rewards, and then I would take that $50, and I would buy items for my home. So look into that because you can make money by doing it. It does take time, but gradually you can make money to put items back into your household, like, bars of soap and toilet paper and dish soap and little things that you need for your household you know that's a good way to make a little extra money on the site too